July 20th, 2023. Mayor Michael B. Hancock out. Mayor Michael C. Johnston in. And here it says it all, folks. When, you, when you're able to take and pattern match people's voices with their actions and the words they say, and they better hope that nobody else said those words. So when you think about Michael C. Johnston, he's just another Hancock, just different friends. And so uh, as you take a look at this, Mike Johnston sworn in as Denver's 46th mayor. 46th mayor matches the 46th president, and then they have Jen Ritter, who's supposed to be a wherewithal of all things. She's going to be pattern matched today. But 46 matching 46, they, they don't see the numbers aligning. They don't because they don't give a fuck. Here's Denver Post. And you got to remember, CBS, they were for um, Kelly Bra, who was completely overran by the voters of Denver. See, they think they could tell Denver voters what to do in her little uh, whack-a-mole video about hers, the only one with the experience. The voters spoke, man. And what they, what they, the ones that spoke are the ones that didn't vote because this election was the most important election of all elections. And when you have all these IT people and all these media hacks like Denver Post and delivers an annual state of city address at Montbello Recreational Center on July 18. Oh, what did he say? Mayor Hancock, who's leaving City Hall after three terms as mayor and two on city council, received standing ovation by the same people and a hug from Johnston as he put his hand on his so um heart. So when you when you think about that right here. Standing ovation. Let's think about Michael Hancock's legacy. Decay. Mayor um, Hickenlooper. Decay. Mayor Webb is now decay. Um, Mayor uh, Pena, who Pena and Webb were indexed as growth mayors. And then the decay mayors came. And then they hired, then they voters that didn't vote, 500 and what? 40,000 voters, registered voters, and only 90,000 voted for um, Mike Johnston. Even Hancock got more votes than that. And so when, you, when, when, the, when the smoke clears and these fools all realize that all their standing and vote, all their standing ovations and all their hugs and all their, their, they're done, man. Axios. Hancock walks away from a lifelong dream realized as he passes the torch after 12 years as Denver mayor. You hear the thunder, folks? Things are coming to Denver that they're not even going to be. But I saw it, and I created platforms. I don't create dreams like, like Mike Johnson. He's all talk, no platforms. They're sad because Denver voters, they didn't hit rock bottom. They couldn't see their their own survival, their own goodwill, their own pursuit of happiness because of their ideologies of party first. And on February 6th in Judge 2023, case number 2023-CV54, I sued Paul Lopez. And um, and that whole bunch, man, they they they're all these voters that didn't vote for him. That's the ones they should have realized because when it comes down to the rankings of the city and county of Denver, and them still being with the DenverGov.org and not Denver.gov, they're 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 causing themselves in the metaverse to go backwards. And so we won't realize this as look at. Denver's new mayor, Johnson says his experience as a state law educator, nonprofit head makes him the best. No, it didn't make him the best. What happened is Kelly Bro was outdated, outrated, bloviated pig with red lips. 
Okay, she she went from one job to the other. They she said she wasn't gonna run for mayor, and then she said she is gonna run because something told her to. And it's like what the, even sensible people seeing that and go, she's already fucking lying. So Mike Johnston, he's just the uh, another same person. See the GP7A, see the taglines in here. Like, let's take a look at what this means, okay? This is what the GP7A tag looks like on that organization. Look at that. So it's little, but it's enough to substantiate the claims that Mayor Michael... C. Johnston is just a bloviator, talker, and when you looked at all the people that got their feelings hurt when they ran for mayor and they weren't going to go with Kelly, that was Kelly's first clue. And then Kelly came out and started telling everybody, oh, it's that big money. The big money's what hurt him because it was the same amount of voters for more money. Nothing's changed, folks. And so tell your IT people to start telling you the truth about the analytics of artificial intelligence and pattern matching everybody's voices with everybody's actions, with wherever they're going, and their cell phone tower ping records are the new DNA. And the second DNA, which is really the first DNA, is our voices. They're called voice latent prints. Ask your law enforcement what that is. Voice latent prints.